Hi there, it's Clint with Clint's Classic World. Coming back to you, want to talk to you here a little about hoods. Let's talk about the 70, 1970 to 1974 e-body type hoods. There's a lot of confusion going on out there. People don't understand these hoods. So I'm going to talk to you briefly about these hoods so that you understand, okay, what, how can I determine what is a 1970 uh, e-body or whether it's a Kudo or, or Challenger, what is 1971, what is 1972 or uh, to 74, those differ. So let's get right to it. Subscribe to my channel and let's go. Okay, let's get started here. This is a 1970 Cuda hood. Okay, obviously you can see kind of right here where the bulges are standing out. So it's not a flat hood, it's a Cuda hood, 1970. Push it up. You can see there's the bulges there. Hood pins obviously on it. But it is a 1970 hood. Now, how can we determine that it's 1970? Well, let's talk about that. A lot of people want to talk about, oh, well, how the, the, the front down here, how that is, or resides, or so on and so forth, or where these things bolt up here. You know what? All that kind of stuff is okay, but really it's easier to tell if you just focus on this right here. If you look at these right here, you see those? You've got these little uh, rectangles in here. If you have those rectangles, first of all, those come in 1970 to 1971 hoods on e-bodies, okay? So whether it's a Challenger or a Barracuda or a Cuda, it does not matter. But if it's 1970 Challenger RT, 1970 Challenger, 1970 Barracuda, 1970 Cuda, 1971 Cuda, so on and so forth, 70 and 71, you will have that. now. 70 obviously you'll hear a lot of people there's like a crinkle zone or type setup well if you look here there is no crinkle zone here along the framing so again we see the crinkle zone is not in this hood so this means this this hood again would be with both of those the uh, rectangles there and that there's no crinkle zones this would be a 1970 hood then let's walk over to the next hood the next hood here Okay, there are some subtle differences. Of course, this one is a Challenger rally hood. You can also see right there the bulges. You can obviously see it's a little looks a little bit longer. Um, you can see where you can see the emblem. I believe that's the Dodge emblem that would be put in right there. So on and so forth. Now this hood, if you notice, there the re those uh, rectangles do exist, and you have the crinkle type zones as of right here so this hood right here would be a 1971 okay very simple folks very simple look at those things and that's how you can tell now quickly let's go to the next hood over this is another challenger hood but you notice it is a flat hood okay all right well let's look at it okay it does have it uh, does have that it's a it has the rectangles here okay along there okay you see that as well you can see the crinkle zones this right here would be a 1971 this is a flat hood 1971 okay then let's go look at another one here now this one notice it has the crinkle zones but it does not have the rectangles they're not there this hood is a flat hood this hood would go for a 1972 to 1974 okay very interesting here so notice the subtle differences there are no rectangles so if there are no rectangles in your hood that means your hood is a 1972 to 1974 now that goes all the way across from shaker hood to rally hood to flat hood okay those few things so that makes it so simple when you're looking at a shaker hood obviously if somebody takes a hood that has no rectangles in it and they stamp it and put a shaker in it and they go oh look it's an original well there's other ways to look to check shaker hoods to see if they're original but that is the 
quickest way to say, oh, well, first of all, it's not even a, a, a 70 or 71 hood, so you're off there. So there's a lot of people out there claiming that they have, you know, this is a 71, or 1970 to 74 hood for sale. They, that, that's not true. That's not true. You have 72 to 74, which are very close and close to, you know, in similar. But then you have 1970 and 71, which totally are different. So make sure to understand that when you're looking at your hoods, where it's a rally hood or a flat hood or, or a shaker hood. Those are ways to find out, you know, what year is my hood. And it makes it pretty simple. With that said, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.